Right, morning everybody, hope you're doing well. Um, I thought it was um, about time for me to come on and um, give you some truths. I've got a few things to say today that I needed to have said some time ago. Um, yeah, it's a little bit disappointing, a bit of sadness, but um, I do uh, unfortunately have to report that um, uh, an 18 year relationship has ended for me um, around about in end of November, December, and um, when I was in Tenerife in December, it was then that a decision was made to um, move forward with with my life and things, and um, since then, things have been a bit, um, um, not unpleasant, but um, unworkable, I suppose you could say. Um, sorry about uh, or any of the noise. I'm walking about in the kitchen. I'm just doing a bit of lunch. It's uh, I'm recording this at the moment. It's about 1.27 in the afternoon. Um, and it's important that I put this out. Um, so, um, like I said, my partnership has ended. Um, and December was the make or break. Um, and in this... This... this uh, this particular instance, it was a break. So we're now looking, what we're now, March. Um, so that's the, the good thing, but the, the, sorry, the bad, sad thing really, but uh, on the whole, um, a good thing is that um, I am going to France within the next couple of days and I will be taking a new partner with me. So that should be interesting, and um, while I'm on the way across, um, I will be able to tell you all about all the uh, all the bits and bobs and what's happened and what hasn't happened and all the rest of it. So I do hope that um, you look forward to um, that update. But like I say at the moment, I'm just in front of the hob, so I do apologise if there's any pops and bangs and all the rest of it. So. Uh, yeah, so um, like I say, um, one door closes and another one opens. You know, what can you do? You have to live your life, work forward, move forward, don't you? And um, yeah, it is what it is and all that jazz. Um, but I was surprised that uh, things were amicably sorted out with uh, just a few phone calls and um, forms were filled in, completed. Um, money money was exchanged and um, both parties walked away to another, another part of our lives. So, uh, so like I say, on Friday it will be um, myself, uh, my new partner and Everybody that hopefully will join join us on uh, on the France trip, um, which will include I, I will be taking um, my camera, uh, which is what I'm recording on at the moment. I can't turn the camera on because it's pretty much flat, um, and I've got it charging up. I'm using my radio mic at the moment, which is what I will be taking with me on France to France, and I'll be also taking my um, DJI. Um, the camera will be done, will be the part I do the lives from, but the um, DJI camera will be uh, for recordings that I will edit and put out uh, probably on the Saturday, which will document the uh, the boat, trip down to uh, the boat, um, and what's on the boat, what's on the, on the ship or boat, whatever it is. And, um, <clears throat> excuse me, so I'm looking forward to doing that. It was pretty similar to what I did before. I think it was May last year. I did a similar sort of thing, but that was really, um, it didn't include too much about it, but that was one of the uh, trips that I did that was uh, quite well received. So I'm hoping this time I'll be able to put a little bit more about what goes on on the boat, what's available on the boat. And it's quite a nice, actually the boat is uh, well stocked and well received. Lots of places to eat, relax, uh, things to do. You can go up on the deck. Um, and, uh, you know, I'm looking forward to getting some good shots coming from the harbour uh, when we leave the country and also when we arrive 
in France and likewise on the return trip. So it's going to be a full day. <clears throat> um, I have to leave here around about uh, 7 a.m. Um, don't expect to be home much before midnight, so it'll be a full day. Um, one of the things I'm not sure if I mentioned before, but um, one of my favorite wines is Sauternes. And um, half a bottle of Sauternes in, in um, Sainsbury's is 12 pounds. That's for a half a bottle. So if you say two bottles, 24 pounds for a bottle of Sauternes, I can go to France for the day and I can get the same one full bottle for nine euros. So I only need to buy three, three bottles, bring them back, and that's paid for the day. Um, I'll be able to go over to France, have a day on the boat, both ways, there and back, have lunch, bring back the three bottles of Blanc, and um, it won't cost me a bean. And I'll have France, France trip, uh, which would be good, and stop over there for some lunch, do some shopping, and uh, enjoy the day. So. Um, I do hope that everybody can join me on uh, when I do that, but I won't be saying when exactly when I'll be going, but I will be doing little bits and pieces from the phone. Um, I know that there is free Wi-Fi on the boat, um, what with the uh, roaming problems and all the rest of it, but I've got some in interesting things to say about all that, but that'll be done on the day. So uh, from myself, um, from home looking forward to uh, a france trip coming up shortly and i can tell you a little bit more about the new partner um and um hopefully bring everybody up to speed with what's going on also i will give you a complete rundown of the cost so if anybody else wants to go to france for the day uh on the ferry um depends on obviously where you are traveling from but um, from the south coast across to France, it's not too far. Um, and as a foot passenger or foot passengers, it's, uh, it's fairly uh, um, inexpensive. But for a, for a day out, um, you know, for what I paid, it was well worth the cost. Um, but like I say, a lot of people go over to, uh, over to France in the car and they just bring back a bootload of um, stuff um, I don't smoke so um, the only thing I'm interested in is really the first important thing is to enjoy a day in France um, and then after that I will bring obviously the wine back which is the bonus but it's the day trip and the um, you know enjoy the sights and sounds of Cherbourg um, which would be nice so I'm looking forward to that the weather forecast is pretty much as it is today a bit overcast um, showery but um, when you get off the of the other ferry terminal at the other end there are plenty of taxis I've done it before quite a few times you can actually walk from the ferry terminal into into Sherbourg where the town is um, there's lots of shopping just to, you just walk into the town walk across the bridge into the old town or you can keep on to the left side walk around to the uh, Carrefour Centre which is a big big shopping centre um, and it is a big one as well uh, I think it's the car for which is the um, the mega supermarket they've got everything in there from, you know all the electrical stuff um, what you'd expect from a big store I like walking around there and I bought some bits and bobs from there last year but um, I'll be looking around there to, to, uh, when I do go but um, like I say I hope you um, come back and enjoy the, uh, the trip and I can tell you a bit more about uh, my new partner whilst on, on, the, on the boat going across. Um, thanks for joining me today. I'm just doing some, um, some lunch. It's uh, now 1.35. Thanks everybody for joining me today. I haven't put the camera on. I'm still, the camera is on, is, it's on about 4% at the moment. So I didn't turn it on today, but um, I'm gonna put this, um, put this up on the, um, this afternoon and I'll put some video with it overlay so with a bit of uh, uh, French sort of style music in the background so um, I will be taking my blue beret with my blue and white t-shirt uh, my fake moustache and um, a ring of French onions around my neck and slap my thighs and call me Rene from Friday 
So, folks, have a good afternoon and um, join me on my next trip, which will be France, and I can introduce you all to my new partner um, and um, we'll see how we get on. So from me at the moment, have a good one, peeps, and uh, we'll catch up soon. Take care. Bye-bye and uh, au revoir.